in one word describe trite this way? Fucked up. There's two words, Mondo. Oh, yeah. Um, bizarre. Violent. Schizophrenic. Confusion. I guess, I don't know, I guess it's pretty trite. Trite. Watchable. Scat. I'll pick scat. You know what that means, don't you? I played a character named Gilpin, who represented Jason's best friend, Levi's best friend. Um, I played one of the brown squirrel's three brothers. I was one of the um, brown squirrels and uh, also helped uh, fund it with a, I guess I've got an executive producer title somewhere in there. I was a, a co-director of photography. Camera operator, cinematographer, however you want to put it. I had a small part as some dude at the party. I think you played a Mexican guy. Yeah. At the party. Some drunk Mexican. I played Emma, who was a little trashy, um, and who slept around, and pretty much broke Levi's heart, and took his will, and stomped it into the ground. What kind of an idiot do you have to be? Check that out. Um, I was an associate producer, and also I was in it. Stonefish. Uh, I was approached after it was shot to score. Actually, we we did that video with Jason, you know. Yeah. And he was having trouble finding somebody to like actually commit to scoring it. So we were like, we'll do it. So we made some music for it. Cool. I am Chris White. I play in a band. My band's name is Juan Profit Organization. Uh, we're from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Been here for three or four years. Um, recently met up with Barefoot Independent, Jason Heath, uh, to start work on Trite This Way. Uh, we've been doing scoring for that for a couple of months now, and we're just about done. We brought in Dave Jelma and numerous other Murfreesboro musicians. Um, and just composed a bunch of music for the film. Where are we going to get a probation officer? We need someone who's in her 30s, female. And I, and I pass you, I mean, I would go by that house a hundred times a day, and I'd see you about every day. Yeah. I'm like, well, I know this lady's right down there. Levi, no marijuana, no alcohol. We got in trouble for, uh, for smoking marijuana and drinking real beer. During the shooting. <laughs> I don't remember the guy's name. The guy who furnished all the the equipment came by and people were smoking pot and drinking beer and he really, really laid into Jason for that. Thought that was kind of funny. There was a bunch of uh, uh, weed and beer at the party and the owner of all the equipment dropped by to see how the shoot was going and he walked in and we were like on break from a scene, so there was a bunch of people standing around smoking weed and drinking beer with like thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment, and I don't really think that went over too well with them. I don't know. Uh... Okay, I'll tell you a story about trade this way. Well, here's a story that everyone knows and loves. I'd really like to show the fact that the, the director obviously is a confused individual. think of the project as a whole? Oh, I hate it, man. I think it's Jason's, like, warming up, really. Thank God for Jack Daniels. Let's see. I, uh... Just how everybody was working together. It was, it was just a bunch of people who I knew who I really didn't 
wouldn't expect to be able to get together and put something together, put it all, get it through. And then the whole thing about, you know, you know how uh, all the actresses were just really digging on, they all wanted my body, and that was pretty cool. And a couple, like, Bryant wanted me really bad. So, I mean, it was one of those things where, like, if the girls like you and the midgets like you, you're set, you know? I mean, it's pretty cool. Like, he wanted me, all the girls wanted me. It was a good time. What's your favorite thing about the movie? I think maybe the dialogue is my favorite thing. Look, if you listen to my fucking words, you'd know better. You just go out there and do whatever comes natural. Like baseball. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I like Josh jumping around in those rocks. After the playback, though, you know, I don't really no memories before the playback come to mind as my favorite. But seeing Josh jump on those rocks, I think I just knew that he hadn't gained too much weight and that he still was <laughs> able. There was a scene where um, I think Josh and somebody, I think the little midget dude, were walking down the street, kind of like that. Good scene. Some of the writing was, I think, really good. Um, my favorite line in the whole movie is when he says uh, about the unsolved mysteries and the TV dinners, and then he says, I don't understand my relationship with this earth. I oftentimes feel like I don't understand my relationship with this earth. Doesn't she know I'm not a worm? I'm not going to go on living after being chopped in two. That is an album cup. You see the... You Right there, you know, the way that that barrel of hay is right up next to that guy with syphilis. That's an album cover. It was, I was really exhausted, so it was, uh, it was, I mean, it was fun, but like I didn't get any sleep. It was more work than, and Jason pays awful. I mean, really shitty money. You know what, no, one of my biggest benefits of Tried This Way was is what? Working so much with David Joe. Yeah, that dude's awesome. Man. Like we've been working ever since that he came over the first day and we like composed this one little thing for Try This Way, Only Dead in Your Head. Mm -hmm. Like that's the first thing we wrote for it. Um, we've been working together a lot since then. My experience with it was pretty fun. It was nice, so it's kind of cool to see like a huge production like that. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add? I like it when the two chicks make out. I don't know, I'd like to add, I'd like to rent a movie from a store one day. And I think that we will actually make it someday, though perhaps not with Droid to Sway. Okay, thank you for your time. But Trite to Sway will become a cult classic, you can bank on that. And I was in it, so is she. And so is he, the cameraman, Armando Morales. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Oh, I don't have any last thoughts, man, come on. I live like fucking a thousand miles from you. I don't have any last thoughts. Cool? You might say this to your wife when she comes home. Or your girlfriend when she comes home. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see. There's magic in the air. There's magic everywhere. Even the stars in the heavens are magic. Since the day I started loving you. There's magic in the air, there's magic everywhere. Even the stars in the heaven are magic since the day I started loving you. As I lie asleep in night, they don't think the dreams I have in the night are filled with magical wonders of loving you. There's magic everywhere, even the stars in the heavens are magic since the day I started loving you. Bravo. <laughs> Very good. Can you clap, Justin? Yay! You think that you think you <laughs> sing that to mama? <laughs> Justin liked it. Yeah. Didn't you? Moo moo. Mm -hmm. Yeah.